Today is September uh, 18th. Um, it's been a couple practices since we did a summary for for Peyton. Um, the main things that we worked on today, we're, com we're continuing to work primarily on, on, on her forehand, minimize to, uh, to no instruction on her technical instruction on her backhand, especially since she's doing an L3 this weekend. I did not want to give her any technical instruction because what happens is when we, we give technical instruction on two different strokes, we, we focus on her forehand for, for a couple of weeks now, and uh, if we start to go ahead and give her uh, uh, instruction on her backhand, um, it can actually slow down the progress of, of the focus that, we, that we're doing on, on her forehand, is, and that's my that's my hope. What will happen is is that she'll she'll ha my hope is that we we're going to have a little bit uh, greater improvement on her forehand than if we just went back and forth on her forehand and, and her and her backhand. So she's instructed on the on the on the tournament to go ahead and, and hit her her ground strokes uh, her backhand just uh, as she normally does it. Um, she said she focused primarily on being smooth, no technical, like real instructions. Uh, then what we may have done at the, the few times we, we, we hit on it, where she probably, I'm not sure if you remember, that's okay. The principles of like, that you practice on the forehand of uh, hitting at the top of the bounce, moving your feet, it to get the distance right. The it will try, those principles, you transfer them to, to, to the backhand, of course, because they, they are, they are, they, they are the same for the forehand and the backhand. Regardless, and those are not technical. Those are like timing and distance and spatial. Okay, uh, we ended up spending quite a bit of time on her breathing, uh, which was not planned. Um, what we what we came concluded uh, it, for her to do to to be able to 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 have better breathing, because um, it definitely looks as though she does hold her breath or she stops breathing uh, when she hits, and so she gets fatigued very quickly. Uh, Explained to her that if she can learn to breathe correctly, that uh, instead of getting tired at six balls, she may get tired at, at, at 13 balls, you know, 14 balls maybe. So that's an extra six, seven balls that she could be hitting uh, rather than resting. And, and, or, or reducing her quality after ball seven, eight, because she's lost her breath. We, 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 want her, we want her to be able to hit as many balls in, in, uh, without fatigue affecting the quality which fatigue right now is, is, is I think, is just exacerbated by her, by her, uh, by her breathing. This is our theory, right? Mm -hmm. But but we tested it out, and it seems like there's something to it. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to go ahead. What 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 she does on her ground strokes instead of grunting, which is ideally what would what would, what would probably be the best thing. Um, instead of grunting uh, for everything except for her or for her. Uh, most powerful hits, because on her most powerful hits, she voluntarily will grunt. Like on a regular rally ball, um, so that she knows she's breathing, is to blow her cheeks up. So go ahead, do an example. Go, take a swing, take a swing, and do your cheeks. So just, she's just blowing her cheeks up, all right, and exhaling. So this is her cue, physical cue, right, but, you know, to, to breathe. It seems as though she does take a, a breath in, because obviously, because she seemed to last longer when we did this, and we tried it a few times, stopped it, and, and had her pay attention, like, do you feel less tired after these many balls? We repeated some exercises from the beginning, a practice where she got very quick, very fatigued. We repeated to him after we did this, focusing on the breathing. She, she, she noticed that she was getting less tired less quickly. Yes? Mm -hmm. For sure. All right. So you're going to continue to practice that? You, uh, uh, yes? That's going to be part of the way you, you do um, Because I, I, I think you really... I don't think you can magically like just start breathing without doing something to force yourself when you're playing, okay? And you'll get it. All right. So on the on the forehand side, uh, she just has to remember to lift a little more to the right, lower position one on the ta on the on the on the take back. Her contact point gets a little bit close and a little bit inside uh, sometimes. Um, she's pretty, doing a pretty good job with her with her legs uh, as far as uh, maintaining a knee bend and. Uh, just after we did the breathing and she focused on that, we were able to hit a, a, a lot more balls, um, twice, about twice as many balls on each exercise. So being able to do that um, before between rests, like, it's going to be a huge difference in her getting much better versus getting only you know halfway there because she gets tired too quickly on on practices. Okay, anything else? No. All right. Okay. We'll see you next time.